can think of Angela. High volume. High volume. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I do my everyday makeup look and I get so many questions about this look so I just decided to share. Starting off with a clean base, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer. I love this primer so much because it leaves my makeup looking super glowy and super dewy all day. I'm a dewy girl, definitely not a matte girl. Now on to the brows. The brows really shape the face, so this is super important. So I take my Juvia's Place concealer and I love a good highlighted under, under brow. So um, I go in with the shade 18. Okay, I'm about to put y'all on to a huge secret to doing your brows, but not really doing your brows. So I go in with a line of concealer just underneath my brow, and I don't put anything on my eyebrows. Nothing at all. This is what I do 99% of the time. But um, after that, you just blend it out, and you have a nice highlighted underbrow, which makes it look like your brows are done. But if you are looking for a little bit more definition, you can always go in with a brow gel or an eyeshadow. I prefer using a black eyeshadow on an angled brush and I just lightly, like super lightly stroke my brow. And it gives it, you know, a nice defined look without looking too overly harsh. Next, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Concealer, and I love using concealer for foundation because it just feels so much lighter than actual foundation. And I'm going to go in with the shade 12 and 13, which is a lighter and a kind of warmer tone, and I blend that out with a fluffy brush. And as you can see, there is a seamless skin-like finish to this concealer, and y'all, it literally feels like skin. It's super breathable, and I do not mind wearing it all day. So now we are going to conceal our under eyes, and I'm gonna be using the shade 13, which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I'm gonna go in first with my finger. I like using this method because it makes the concealer look a bit natural in my opinion. I just, I don't know, it's my thing. Then I go in with a beauty blender and I blend out any of those lines. Now we're gonna go in and highlight underneath our eyes with the same concealer we used for underneath our brows. These concealers are literally a match made in heaven. I used to be a LA Girl Pro Concealer type of girl and I don't know what I was thinking because it's super lightweight and it doesn't leave my face feeling dry. If you just go without a powder, it looks super dewy, super natural, and it's very lightweight and it's not drying at all. Now to lock all this hard work in with our Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this is in the color Translucent Honey. I take the powder on a beauty blender and I blend it into my skin. I don't bake and I don't brush out the powder. Then I go in with my Ruby Kiss HD Set and Forget Powder in the color Banana. And this is to help keep the creases away. Using the Tower Beauty Sculptino in the color Simon, I'm going to sculpt my face and give it a nice little contour. And I was always a powder contour girl, but this cream contour has literally changed my life. It looks so natural and so dewy. Like I said, I'm a dewy girl. So we're going to take a flat, dense brush and just blend out any of those harsh lines. Then I go in with the Beauty Blender just to further blend everything out. So we're gonna go in with the Gleeful by MAC blush and just apply that to our cheekbones. And I love to apply a little bit of blush to my nose. I know some people might be like, girl, what is it giving Rudolph? But I am here for it. So then I go in with another flat, dense brush and I blend out that blush. Now 
Now time for the lips. So I go ahead and I wipe off any oil lip gloss that I may have had on. Then I tap the beauty blender around my lips just to make sure I didn't wipe off any of the concealer. And I take honestly any brown lip liner. This one is a beauty supply store brand, not really sure. And I just went in and lined my lips. And I just blend everything out with my finger. And I don't know about y'all, but the Beauty Supply Store lip gloss is always going to hold a girl down. So I use my Nika K lip gloss in clear. And boom, apply it. And I am done with the lips, girl. That's my lip combo. For everybody who's been asking me, I have been doing this for years. This is the only thing I use. I don't buy hella lip glosses or lipsticks <laughs> so now i'm gonna go in and enhance my moles so i'm just going to use the ill maquillage um felt tip liner and just bring my moles back to life and that is the completed look guys thank you so much for watching and if you all like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment and make sure to check the description box because all of the products will be listed below all right see you all in my next video bye <laughs>